We have an ambition of 100,000 of these homes by 2030 and we do very much hope and foresee that Zero Bills becomes a, a normal of housing. Wouldn't it be lovely if you never had to pay an energy bill ever again? Just imagine what that would do for your holiday fund. And surely, with renewable energy, which offers smart control, greater efficiency and cheap generation, surely that panacea is within reach. Well, Octopus have figured it out. And all of these homes here, they are not paying a single thing on their energy bills. They are zero bills homes. So we've come to Exeter to figure out how on earth this is happening, what's the catch and what's in it for Octopus. Welcome to Everything Electric. Our three free YouTube channels on EVs and clean tech are funded by our fun-packed test drive-tastic events in Farnborough, London, the South West, the North, Melbourne and Sydney and next up we're in Canada for Everything Electric Vancouver. And new for UK viewers, you can now buy a battery EV and much more at everythingelectric.store. Now, back to the episode. The UK boasts the dubious honour of having some of the most expensive electricity in the world. And in fact, here in the UK, there are 3 million people already living in fuel poverty. Our energy debt is absolutely enormous. And with the opportunity presented by more flexible energy generation with smarter technology, there is this huge opportunity to reframe this problem entirely. And that's completely what Octopus Energy have been doing with their Zero Bills Home initiative. And in fact, they plan to build 100,000 Zero Bills Homes by 2030. For this to be possible, it is so dependent on Kraken, which is kind of like Octopus Energy's iOS system. It's the clever bit that does all of the trading of energy and moving it around in the right way at the right time. And of course, that's possible because so much of this technology is really, really smart. But before you get to any of that, the most important thing is making the homes really efficient in the first place. So you're reducing that overall energy consumption. So all of these homes come armed with masses of insulation, triple glazing, all of that good stuff that makes them super efficient. Then when that's in place, they can have solar, they can have a heat pump, and they can have battery storage. And all of that comes together in this really seamless ecosystem, which unlocks the ability to make these homes zero bills homes. So can you give us an overview? What exactly is Octopus Zero Bills Homes? So a zero bill home essentially is a home built with the right specification of a heat pump, a battery and a lot of solar panels. You can't get away from that. It's pretty much sort of max fit. Um, and with that, Octopus can unlock a zero energy bill for the resident. And that is guaranteed for at least five or 10 years, depending on the agreement with the developer. And when you say zero bills home, does it really mean that? Are there any catches? It really does mean a zero bill every month for the home. The only two caveats to the tariff are, firstly, is that EV charging is billed separately at our intelligent Octopus Go rate. Um, and the second one is there is a fair usage policy. So um, it works out roughly double the average consumption of a property of that size and number of bedrooms. So ways people might get, get near that would be sort of a hot tub all year round um, and big energy consumption products. But how does it actually work? How is it that these homes can be zero bills? Is it just a case that they are super efficient or is there some other wizardry going on? So because you've got all renewable technology powering the home essentially, so you've got the heat pump, the battery and the solar, Octopus essentially with our tech platform Kraken underpins the technology. So we're integrated with the battery um, and in some cases the heat pump, which mean we can run the home in the most efficient and economic way. So essentially optimizing it. Um, so think when the uh, weather's really windy and energy is green, um, we can fill up the battery with that renewable energy and use that to power the home. And um, when everyone gets home at 5 p.m. and the grid is under a lot of strain, and instead of sort of using dirty electricity, we can actually use the excess energy in that battery that might have come from the solar panels to sell back to the grid. Um, and so that's how we kind of operate the home. So it's not only the home that benefits from this, but actually the grid itself as well. Can you tell us a little bit about this lovely home that we're currently in? Yeah, so it's um, a four bedroom detached home. Obviously the eco side of things, so it's um, triple glazed, got solar panels on the roof, and we've got uh, a heat pump, and we've got the battery. Um, so that's all part of the like zero bills package um, that ensures that we can get the zero bills. You've recently moved into this property. Did you move in because it was zero bills homes or was that a sort of serendipitous surprise? Um, no, we did know that it was Zero Bill's home. Um, that was quite important to us. Um, we wanted something that was sort of 
future proof really. We could just move in and not have to worry about anything. Uh, zero bills was a massive plus really. Um, obviously not having to pay energy bills. Um, also with it being a smart home and we've both got electric cars. So yeah, it just made sense really. So before you moved in here, I think you said you were in a 1930s terraced house. Give us a sense of how much you were paying per month there. So a lot on energy. So we had electricity uh, and gas, um, and that was about £330 a month, which was quite an outgoing. But here, obviously, we've just got electricity, no gas, and then that's zero bills. God, it's absolutely phenomenal. And especially because when you think about zero bills homes, you'd assume that you'd be living in a teeny tiny shoebox, and that's how it's made possible. But We've all been commenting on how airy and mm -hmm. spacious and just gorgeous this property feels. Is there an element that you're still like, mm, surely there's a catch at some point? Yeah, I think it definitely feels like, oh my God, is it too good to be true? But it's really not. And have, had, have you had to sort of fiddle around with any of this stuff? Like, have you had to change the settings on the heat pumps or the batteries or the solar panels or any of that? Or is it kind of a set and forget? And um, when you first move in, you do have to set it up. Um, so they'll show you how to set that up on your phone um, and then you basically need to, um, with your Octopus Energy Zero Bills, you link that to the battery. Mm -hmm. uh, so then the battery talks to Octopus Energy and they can see how much energy you're using um, and how much you're supplying to the grid and to, to them basically. Mm -hmm. um, so they, they have access to all that information. Can you tell us about where we are today? Because Obviously, all of these homes are zero bills homes, but you haven't necessarily built them as Octopus. How does that partnership work? So we partner with housing developers across the UK um, and internationally, actually. So we've got homes in New Zealand and Germany as well. Um, so this development is with Verto Homes, and it is one of the first zero bill homes sites um, that has every home as a zero bill home uh, that we've launched. And Verto have committed to build 100% um, zero bill homes as their future standard of housing as well, um, which is fantastic and a great partnership we have with them. This is obviously absolutely amazing for new builds and especially because we need so many more new houses as well. But what about the options for existing homes or even retrofits? We have um, a trial that we launched in February where we have done one retrofit of a Victorian mid-terrace property. Um, so that has reached zero bills now and it's gone really well. So we're looking at how um, and potentially when we'll, we'll expand those trials. Uh, so that's our first case study really of, of what's possible for zero bills. There's also a huge equity component to this because the people who would benefit from zero bills are obviously those who are most vulnerable to fuel poverty, say. And yet we know that installing these kind of technologies does come at a bit of a premium. So how can we ensure that as many people as possible can access these clean technologies? Even 30 years ago, the cost of this technology was a lot more than it is today. So the cost has come down dramatically. We sort of see the cost being sort of between five and £20,000, which is a, is a big difference, but it just depends on a lot of factors, mm. which is why we say roughly that. So a lot of developers are now able to build that into their designs and it's more viable because the costs have come down so much. Um, and we're working with a lot of people in the industry in order to help continue to drive those costs down, um, but also to work with um, mortgage providers Advisors, for example, to see if we can unlock more affordability for homes that have zero bills. Are there any options for, say, um, social housing? Yeah, so we do have a partnership with Clarion Housing Association where they've got some zero bill homes on a site in Essex. Um, so yeah, absolutely. And we work with local authorities as well to sort of help them work it into their plans too. So at the end of 10 years, what happens then? Yeah, that's a question we get asked all the time. So um, at the end of the guarantee, the tariff is expected to continue as long as the kit within the home is operationally functional. So as long as the heat pump, the battery, etc., is still working, then the tariff is expected to continue. Do you think you'd have installed all of these technologies without a scheme like uh, Octopus Zero Bills? Um, I mean, it would have been lovely to. Obviously, it would have been quite costly. And in our previous 1930s home, I don't know if it necessarily would have been possible without making lots of alterations to the home. Mm -hmm. uh, and then by the time we've made all those alterations, uh, we might as well have moved into a brand new home, really, and have it hassle-free and have it all done for us. The future home standard means that we're going to see more and more new homes have things like solar panels and heat pumps and batteries. 
But what we want to ensure is that these aren't just box ticking exercises, but actually a genuine effort to work towards massively reducing energy bills to make life just a little bit more comfortable and of course driving down those emissions as well. Now we're moving towards a world in which there is way more decentralised energy, way more distributed energy. Is this going to be the norm in the future? We very much hope so. So we have an ambition of 100,000 of these homes by 2030, and that's globally. Um, so we are working uh, with partners in New Zealand and Germany already, but we have ambitions to grow that further. Um, and we are also looking at a world where, you know, this can be for every single home. You know, that's where we would want this to be. For new build, we're getting closer and closer. The future home standard uh, will be coming out soon, which means homes should be it's most likely to be built with heat pump and some solar already and so therefore the difference between that and a zero bill home becomes even smaller so we do very much hope and foresee that zero bills mm -hmm. becomes a, a normal of housing. What's the one thing that you want viewers to take away from this episode? Really that zero bill homes and living with a zero energy bill for the home each month isn't a futuristic thing. It's literally happening here today. We're at a site today that has many customers already living in these homes um, and that it is possible and that renewable technology doesn't have to be scary or um, an expense for customers. It can be something that is financially beneficial and beneficial for the planet. It is not lost on me that the houses here are totally gorgeous and the people that can afford these are not necessarily the same people who would benefit most acutely from having zero energy bills. But what this does prove is that this is possible. This is not a marketing gimmick, this is totally within reach. And so what we need to happen now is to scale this as widely as we possibly can, engaging with local authorities, addressing those planning permissions such that more people can benefit from zero energy bills and live in a comfortable and dignified way, in a way that they can afford. Now visit electricvehicles.expert, where you can follow everything electric and keep current with Clean Technica, The Driven, Electric and many more.